Now to our Bay Area Proud series, where we share, share stories of kindness, generosity, and in the case of tonight's story, inspiration. It's a story for anyone who has fallen on hard times and thinks there is no hope. Well, Lisa Marie Riley once felt that way and wants others to know there's always a way out. When there happens to be an exact moment a person can point to, a moment when their life changed forever, the details tend to stick with them. The time, the place, sometimes even the weather. Well, one day in a storm. Lisa Marie Riley will never forget that her moment happened in the rain. I knew I shouldn't have been out in that weather, but I didn't care. I asked God on this trip, like, to help me, to save me from myself and to save me from this misery. Oh, how nice. Lisa Marie's journey into and eventually out of misery began years ago with an abusive relationship. Coping with alcohol led to depending on drugs and eventually living on the street in San Francisco. Eight long years of it. I lost the essence of who I really was. I no longer knew myself as myself. I was just empty, running on E. But then, in that storm, everything changed. I challenged myself to be better than I was yesterday. In the four years since, Lisa Marie has not only delivered herself, but dedicated herself to helping other women do the same. Just take some yeah. and roll it. And she's now found the perfect place to do it. Making a meal. A year ago, Lisa Marie took the position of peer counselor at Carmelita Women's Home, a partnership of Catholic Charities and Marin County. The home has space for eight women to live, eight women trying to do what Lisa Marie did, escape trauma in their lives. My mission in life is to now help other people that have gone where I've gone and been where I've been and know that it's okay, that there is a different way. As difficult as her journey to this point has been, Lisa Marie swears she wouldn't change a single step along the way. Serving the women of Carmelita is, she believes, her purpose in life. And you never really regret finding that, no matter how you got there. It feels amazing. I am so honored to do this work. I feel like it's my job to do this work. It's my calling. It's like my life's work is to help other women. I'm always interested in hearing about people like Lisa Marie. If you know someone who is doing something kind, generous, or yes, inspirational, I'd love to hear about it. You can reach me via email at Bay Area Proud at NBCBayArea.com or also find me on social media. People find me in both places, yes. Jeff, and I always love to yeah. hear about them. I will say one more thing about Lisa yeah. Marie in that amazing story. She had, at the when things were darker, she had mm -hmm. lost connection with her children, with her daughter. Oh, man. And uh, since she's come back, she's reestablished the relationship with her daughter. Oh. They're tighter than ever, and that's one of the more special things oh, for her. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, she's full of so much gratitude, mm -hmm. and, you know, being that role model now, I you know, anyone that's that's going into that program, they've got to have the utmost respect for yeah. her because they know, you know, where she has been. She has been, and yeah. she has been there. Yeah, right. awesome job.